Okay, hey, Mr. Ryan. I thought I'd show you the, the bird machine. Give you a close up in a minute, but uh, it's a quarter inch plate, aluminum. It's all aluminum. Uh, one inch square tubing on the bottom welded and it actually protrudes down through the 2x4 for a little extra stability although at this point I think it didn't have to do that but the first version this this is the first version this thing was so flexible it was way too flexible, so I wanted sturdy. So, uh, so this is three-quarter inch um, tubing, square tubing, and this fits in here. So this comes apart right here, and also at the top the same way, and then it goes into the this hex. This is half-inch hex aluminum. We've got little brackets to uh, to hold the C. The design is the goal is to have the bottom of the feeders at least five feet off any surface that the squirrels can be on because that's out of their reach according to the literature that I've found. And then uh, up there's a about a three feet uh, actually I can't remember if it's two feet or three feet but uh, I guess it's three feet because it's about half of that height piece of uh, PVC three inch round PVC four and six inches been used but uh, I, I had the three inch um, and that so far, the squirrels cannot get up that. They jump on that and then they fall. So, uh, it's very sturdy. Uh, of course, the base could be altered to fit on a 4x4 four four, uh, or any other dimensional lumber. Of course, those are high enough where I can't really get to them. So, this is what I came up with. This is a, a pool, a pool um, piece of equipment. I guess you'd call it a. Uh, it was for skimming, basically. And I fit one piece inside the other, and welded aluminum onto it, and formed the aluminum to grab onto the perches on those bird feeders. So I could fill it and put it up. Not sure what that is, but I'm going to take a look at that. And it sure looks like an eagle. Though the color, I don't think the color was right. So, uh, I'm gonna, this needs to be done a little better so that if I fill the, the tube feeders, they get a little top heavy based on, especially this one where I grab lower because there's only, this is the highest set of um, perches and it can tip. It could spill, although I, I've caught it so far, but um, I'm going to just make this so it'll hold it a little firmer below the, where it grabs just to keep it steady while I'm moving it around.
but it, it works great. It does exactly what it's supposed to. I'm already planning the next version. So I just wanted you to see that. Catch you later.